So I'm joined by Dave here at uh, the nurseries, Mumby, Lincolnshire, where I'm working, who's arrived in a absolutely stunning Morello. Would you class it as being a motorhome? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. So let me take you on a journey on this beast with Dave. Uh, we're going to have a good look around the exterior, um, what's going on, and then we're going to have a step inside uh, and show you the inside of this. And this is this this is absolutely beautiful. Come with me, Dave. Come on, let's start. Let's start on the uh, let's start on this side. So let me let me come back to give you some idea of the size of this and. So I was just saying to Dave, I absolutely love the colour scheme of this. It's, uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Did, but did you say you'd had that put on yourself? Yeah, they're an option. Them uh, carbon fibre transfer things, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So let's start and have a look. Do you want to uh, maybe start at the garage? And um, yeah. we'll, we'll have a look here. So this is the boot or the garage as they get called. Big plans for this. It's not yet been structured. We've only had the vehicle three weeks. Uh, yeah, basically. You've got your inverter in the middle there, you charge your inverter, three kilowatt inverter. Your auxiliary batteries are underneath, your lithium batteries. Uh, your cupboards and, yeah, like I said, big plans have put shelves up here for storage and what have you. So these, um, this is to get under the bed sort of storage you can do and you've got pull out drawers and everything they, here, look at this. All right, there you go, you know. yeah, yeah, right. And wow, knick-knack drawers and things, and yeah, storage under here as well. And the door on the uh, d uh, door on the other side as well to this yeah. this as well, isn't it? So um, Smaller yeah, more access door, yeah. Remarkable. So that's the garage. I could actually live in there. Did these people that are camping? They they could have moved in. You could have um, yeah, bed and breakfast. That might be an option for me. You never know. <laughs> Uh, and then we've got another yeah, locker here. Various little cupboards and that's the electrical cupboard with the charger and that's the engine charger I believe. Put 70, 70 amps of power into the lithium battery. You've got all your breakers and switches and fuses. I hope your viewers can understand my Barnsley accent. <laughs> I love that, proper Mancunian, nothing now wrong with that. Proper Manc, isn't it? You can add subtitles, <laughs> I won't be offended. So See, I, I'm, I, I'm a fellow man, but I'm, I'm from Ult Ult Ultringham. That's the posh part. Ultringham. Haley, yeah, Haley, actual fact, <laughs> is where I live. Hales, Hales Barnes. Hale Barnes, right yeah. next to it. I, my, 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 my actual ward I live in is actually Hale Barnes Ward. Yeah. <laughs> That's where money is, footballers. Yeah. Uh, another sort of rubbish cupboard, boots and wellies and things, just a storage cupboard in there. And this is the uh, vent for the fridge. I'm taking it, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, one yeah. Roof okay. As well to let the heat out, like a little chimney vent. Right. Uh, that's another one. I think they call it a ski thing, where they you put long things all the way through there. That's like skis. People <laughs> use them for skiing. Yeah. I'm a bit too chubby for skiing these days, but uh, yeah, you can find something to store in there. So just while I'm here now with the light, it's, uh, I don't know if you can see it's got the self-leveling system underneath here. Yeah. And beautiful wheels. And uh, this whole cab area is just, just, just awesome, isn't it? It's a lovely, uh, lovely thing, yeah. So let's just go and have a look at the, uh, see this picking up from the front here. Might be worth adding, it is the baby of the range. There are much bigger ones. This is the second to the smallest one in range. Wow. Ah, it's just beautiful. Uh, when when this arrived yesterday, the first thing I said it was that front and those yeah, mirrors just yeah. uh, took my breath away. That's what did it for us. So over on the passenger side, oh, I've just noticed there's not a door. No, this is just yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, just one, yeah. one on there. Okay. I don't know if it's security or laziness of build or it was too complicated to get a door in. They have no idea, but. It's a little bit more security, I think, yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So that's locked, and that's a continuation of going all the way through to the other side. That's for your gas your gas bottles, uh, but we're gonna have an underslung tank underneath here. Uh, that one's open. So you've got your plumbing and your waste. 
So this is uh, what I would call big boys proper plumbing, not yeah. caravan plumbing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just check this out. Um, so the red one's for the toilet waste, which comes from a 250, 300 litre storage tank from a macerator toilet. And the black one over there, that is for your grey waste. I think that's 250 litre storage of grey waste. Wow. It's all household plumbing, as you can see underneath there, they're all normal household sized pipes. <sighs> Prevent blockages and things. The uh, still we've only had it's only three weeks old, so we've we're still learning, we're on a learning curve. So uh, twin twin axle as well, is it? Twin wheels. Twin yeah. wheels I should say, not twin axle, twin wheels, yeah, 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 it's yeah. yeah. Seven and a half ton chassis, so it's uh, I think that's what I did at other wheelers. In here you've got your access to what will be a gas your gas bottle goes in here, a great big 120 litre gas bottle will go at back of this pipe in this area. Wow. And then you've got your waste, 20 waste tanks. This slots onto here and uh, drains away. Over a manhole or a, you know, yeah, yeah. from the thing. Uh, yeah, and you've got your vent for your boiler, your filler point, your Aldi eater boiler, your pump. Nice, accessible, and obviously still finding out where to put things and <laughs> stuff things probably where they shouldn't be. And that's just another another one into the garage there. An interesting thing on back of these is there's a like a spoiler at the top, so the air from the top of your vehicle brushes down back end of the van to keep it clean. So rather than get all your spray, what you normally get, and it covers it all very quickly. The, the air's forced and forces the air down so the water doesn't spray up onto the back of the vehicle as much. Well, so let me just try and get in at the back end here. I see so even the rear end is just something, something else, yeah, isn't it? I mean, just look at this. This is just wow. You've got a bonny bum. <laughs> You've got your reversing camera over there. So as, um, as Karina, and I think you sometimes watch my videos, Karina, and you know why um, I've been in touch with you, says, nice rear end. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay, so let's um, let's come back round and uh, let's take, a, let's take a, a look in here. So do you want to start with the pads on here? Yeah, you have a, a locky key pad on here. Uh, so you put a cord in and the door will unlock so you don't actually need a key. And same with locking it. So you can unlock and unlock the door there. Uh, that allows you access. And here you've got your steps, which totally impressed me. There you go. Cool. You you in first, Went Dave. First. So just going in, um, just to give you some idea from the outside what that's like here. And let's step inside. I'm just going to do this nice and slowly to take this in is just the wow factor. Look at this. Right, uh, it's a very slight break on the video there. Sorry, um, I'm actually working as I'm filming this and I had to do a, a very quick check out. So uh, Dave, thanks for being patient with me. So let's, um, let's have a look here. And when I walked in, I was given the whole wow factor. And I think the main reason was that panoramic window and the the white covers and the airiness of it. But just explain about the living area and, and the driving area. Uh, it's powered by a three litre of Echo Daily van. It's on a seven and a half ton chassis. Uh, it's got an eight, eight speed automatic gearbox, uh, Garmin sat nav and reversing camera sort of thing. And you've got your privacy blind that goes up and down. On both sides we opted for no bed option up here to give us more edge space and uh, more cupboards uh, yeah I mean height wise I'm guessing this must be eight foot I don't know to uh, so yeah I mean, I mean the, the, the height is is I'm five foot eight um, six well maybe seven and a half foot yeah it's huge massive massive yeah um, not really worked out why they need that much height actually but it certainly helps for that so it's the ambience, it's the whole, yeah. The, yeah, it's the whole, um, the whole feel of it. You don't feel like you're cramped. So, um, so a party piece is the, the, 
deployable television that's linked to YouTube. Uh, also, so we can watch Neil the, the campsite warden. <laughs> uh, there's also a satellite dish on top that we don't we don't use at all. Well, and you've got your table. That yeah, show, show, yeah, yeah. Come on, show, show us the table. Um, don't wash your fruit bowl. Don't lose your fruit bowl. Yeah, no, no, don't lose the fruit bowl. That'll move about and the wall, it's thing sort of thing. So yeah, it does go up and down a bit more gracefully normally, but... Yeah, that's, that's, that's because we're filming. I'm under immense pressure here. And all the cupboards, I mean, they look so well built and everything. Uh, yeah. They have bags of soil. Oh, look at this here, all the mood lighting. Sorry about the camera flickering. Um, that's my that's that's my setting on this camera. But uh, yeah, yeah. so them lights aren't flickering um, as you're watching. I need to change it to 40 gigahertz or whatever it is. But yeah, wow, that's amazing. They're uh, all dimmable. So let's just try and jump into... I can't... I really can't explain how spacious this 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 is. It's literally a, it is a bus. So um, let me turn around here. Uh, Both side windows are powered as well, which were a great uh, a great option. Well, quite handy as well. When I was little after watching Neil Armstrong land, land on the moon in, was it 1969? I wanted to be an astronaut. I'm in, I'm in a spaceship. My, my dream has come true. So yeah, this is now looking down to the galley, uh, sort of kitchen central area. Um, so yeah, run, run through what we've got here, Dave. Uh, you've got some clever little storage ideas. There's one there at the top, one at the bottom. You've got a fridge, freezer, it's one of them new ones that open both sides. Uh, freezer, and you've got a small oven up here. Uh, you've got your sink, various cupboards and pulley out things. Two sinks actually. Uh, yeah, your coffee machine, your three burner hob. Uh, here's a wardrobe, or some people put a washing machine in there. We've not really decided what to do with it yet, but it's probably going to stay as a wardrobe. So that that wardrobe, so the GoPro's not probably showing, but I mean that's a full size. Yeah. yeah it's it's, a, virtual, you know, it's a full a bit, size, yeah. huge wardrobe, uh, massive. Um, mm -hmm. Wow. And so it's got all the um, it's got all the lighting going all all the way around uh, and going down. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So um, as we're making our way down to the towards the end, so I'll let Dave do the doors, so, so how it works. Two-way door here, it's going to catch on the dog bowl, but here we go. So that opens both ways. Uh, that's your privacy way. You can have it separate, so you can use toilet separate and, and basin. Uh, or if you're in the shower, you can close it that way for a bit of privacy. So I'm just going to bring the camera in here. So this is a, a absolutely ginormous um, full-size shower. Um, And a proper shower base is not a bouncy bouncy yeah it goes uh, solid base any, there, anything yeah. on it and, and shower door on here um so i'm just going to try and jump in so i'm looking right down here sorry um from the rear of the van i'm actually sat on the bed so yeah just pull this door to that door's so funky isn't it yeah <laughs> i think it's such a magnet as well yeah i've done a nip into the loo and just to give us a sorry <laughs> I'm not, I'm not I'm, I'm, I don't know if meant to nip into the loo but <laughs> but no no but, but, but proper uh, proper toilet yeah it's a, it's a vacuum macerator toilet uh, so you add water and it all stores into a giant tank underneath and you flush it like that no smells no chemicals it all goes away into a tank and lasts you for about a month <laughs> That sounded like a a, a, a a train toilet or an airplane toilet. I think that's Probably the same, same same system, isn't it? Yeah. You've got your, your sink and various cupboards and what have you. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise there's mirrors. Sorry, I've too so many reflect. Oh, crikey, it's a uh, yeah. great crazy wall of mirrors here. Uh, wow. Sorry, that feels so spacious just with that whole it mirror does. effect, I mean, doesn't it, it? It adds to it, doesn't it? You've got a door here to the bedroom. Keep it separate if you want to be in bed. Yeah. And then there's your bedroom. 
So it looks bigger than a standard double bed, is it? I think it's a queen, yeah. Is it a queen, yeah? Yeah. So more um, wardrobe space, locker space, windows. And did you say you're thinking about getting a aircon? Yeah, we want aircon in there, definitely, yeah. We have two little, tiny little porky wardrobes. Yeah, in there no, they're fine. Yeah, yeah. Serve a purpose, you know. Drawer at bottom there. There was television here. A little right, right. junk storage cupboard in here. A couple of drawers under bed, yeah. Wow, unbelievable, absolutely wonderful. And uh, it's a matter of, did you say three weeks you've had this? We've had it, three, it's three weeks old exactly, yeah. yeah. And you've been up to Scotland? Went to Scotland first and then ran Northumberland and worked his way sort of to Mumby. To Mumby, which I'd never heard of until this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we haven't actually no, 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 that's, um, Let's go for a walk, walk down here again and just give you another sweep through here. So, how amazing is that? Uh, Fantastic, I, I, and we're very proud to own it. Like It's, a, bit, it's yeah. a dream come true for us as well. You absolutely deserve it, and Thank I mean you. that. Anybody that's got any jealousy when anybody sees somebody in a in a in a, in a nice motorhome or even a nice motor car, people work hard, and that, and you get your rewards for doing All that. All the sacrifices and, uh, that's being made, definitely. Yeah, no, you you deserve it. I want to just give a massive thank you to Dave and uh, your wife Haley. Haley, uh, who's run off. She's um, currently hiding. Yeah. yeah, she's hiding from me uh, for being so great genuine and let me have a walk around here dave that's been amazing i, I really mean that thanks and, uh, for taking a look neil it's uh yeah fantastic yeah so there you go um comment below if you like it are you buying one let me know below next time i'll do me